If you want to know how to travel with no bags, get an extra personal item on the plane every time, or avoid baggage fees, keep watching. Welcome, I'm Michelle, and I make content on life's cheat codes and easy buttons. I've refined my no luggage pack over the years and wanted to share it with you. I'll show you how to pack a few clothes, toiletries, and all the amenities you need to be comfortable on your next short or long haul flight without luggage. If you are already a carry-on only traveler, you know that you can save money on airfare and avoid the possibility of the airline losing your luggage when you travel carry-on only. I'm sure your first question is, why would you need to travel with no luggage at all? If you are taking a short weekend break where you leave on a Friday night and fly back on Sunday, you can absolutely get away with no luggage. I've done it many times and the feeling of freedom and spontaneity is amazing. Even if you are a carry-on only person taking a longer trip, this hack will still be helpful to you. It helps alleviate the struggle to fit everything you need in your personal item or carry-on baggage allowance. Let's talk about the state of flying today. We don't want to check our bags anymore because the airlines want to charge a fortune and then lose them anyway. The old carry-on only luggage hack we've been using for years doesn't work all the time because everyone has switched to carry-on only and now there isn't enough overhead bin space. The airlines, especially the budget ones, are cracking down on carry-on size and weight limits, charging last-minute fees and taking bags from passengers as they board to check them in. A Google search turns up thousands of video complaints about gate agents unfairly and sometimes rudely applying hand luggage size and weight limits. A few airlines even pay gate agents a bounty for every customer they charge a fee. One airline is under a class action lawsuit for this behavior, along with undersizing their bag sizers to force more customers into paying a fee. If your bag doesn't slide in or is even an ounce overweight, they charge a 100 USD or more fee at the gate. If you want to avoid these last minute headaches and fees, this hack is perfect for you. The airlines are getting strict on personal items too. For those of you that like to carry a bum bag, a fanny pack, or a crossbody purse, in addition to your personal item, they will force you to consolidate. But airlines are not regulating what we keep in our pockets. I promise you won't look like this if you try this hack. Explorers, photographers, and outdoorsmen have been rocking travel vests for more than 100 years. Back in the day, they had a decidedly tactical look. The new travel vests are sleeker and stylish. They lay flat against the body, so no more unsightly and bumpy pockets. I've been using this vest since 2018, so the design has changed a little bit. My version was marketed as having 14 pockets. The newest version claims 16. Here's how I pack the vest. It has a personal area network, which is just a cable management system for your wired headphones. There are also two bud pockets where you can tuck away the earbuds. I prefer to bring wired headphones so that I can also use them to plug into the plane's entertainment system. I was inspired to make this video after reading Clara Benson's memoir, No Baggage, about her epic first date around the world with just the clothes on her back. I'll link to her story in the description. There are two chest pockets. In one chest pocket, I put a pill sorter filled with a couple of doses of the medications I found useful in a pinch. Tylenol because it's both a pain reliever and fever reducer. Excedrin because I suffer from migraines. Gas X in case what I eat on the plane causes any uncomfortable bloating cold medicine in case I feel myself coming down with a cold or stuffiness mid-flight. I label each compartment with what the medication is and the required dosage. In the other chest pocket, I put a homemade in-flight amenity kit. I have a whole video on how to make it that I will put in the description. It's everything from oral care, moisturizer, band-aids, and more. There is a 13.56 MHz RFID frequency blocking pocket that protects my passport from skimming. This hack makes me feel like Jack Reacher traveling with nothing more than a toothbrush. There's an ID pocket to store your driver's license or other card. I keep a single credit card in that pocket for anything I might buy in the airport terminal. So I don't have to dig to pull out my wallet. It has a bit of Velcro to ensure that your card can't accidentally fall out. I bring a small wallet, just big enough to hold an additional credit card, my car insurance and health insurance cards, a few coins and bills. I use the mesh pocket surrounding the RFID pocket to store my quart size bag for liquid toiletries. I store a few wet wipes, a small bottle of hand sanitizer and teeny tiny travel bottles filled with my everyday toiletries. I plan to do a video showing how I decant my toiletries into the smallest bottles possible. So look out for that. The vest has two pen holder pockets. 
I actually pack one pen that clicks open and closed rather than with a pen cap that I always lose. I also pack one pencil. I have often found I need to sketch something whether it's an idea or directions that I need to be able to erase and redraw. I store my iPad Air in the tablet pocket. Another travel vest use case is for a relief or missionary trip when you need your baggage allowance for supplies. I store my iPhone in one of the change pockets rather than the phone pocket. I naturally reach down rather than up to take out my phone. In the water bottle pocket, I store some snacks, which are a couple of my favorite protein bars and a chocolate bar. I use the extendable key holder to clip my house keys in and keep them secure. This hack might help too if you are a spy trying to escape before being discovered. This is what the travel vest looks like when you wear it. I also wear a small purse. Inside my purse, I place a tank top, two pairs of boy shorts underwear, and two pairs of no-show socks. I tested wearing cargo pants instead and placing the few clothing items in the pants pockets, but it's embarrassing pulling your underwear out when you go through security, so I recommend a small purse or fanny pack instead. Plus, I need something anyway to serve as a day pack during the day and a purse in the evening. Here's how the clothes work for the weekend. On Friday, I fly out wearing a thin long sleeve shirt with a t-shirt over it. On top of both of them, I wear the travel vest. For bottoms, I wear the cool convertible cargo pants that I bought in REI several years ago. The bottoms zip off to convert them to capris. I tie a lightweight hoodie around my waist. On my feet is a pair of no-show socks covered by a pair of compression socks because my legs swell on flights. Before I go to bed on Friday night, I shower. I put on the boy shorts underwear, the tank, and the clean pair of no-show socks. On Saturday, I wear the same cool cargo pants converted to capris the t-shirt I wore over my long sleeve shirt on the plane, and the socks that I wore to bed. Before I go to bed on Saturday night, I shower. I put on the second pair of underwear, the tank, and the second pair of no-show socks. On Sunday, I wear the cool cargo pants converted back to full pants, and the tank I slept in after showering each night with my lightweight hoodie on top. On my feet, I wear the compression socks that are still clean because we wore them on top of no-show socks on the first flight. For the flight back, I put the dirty clothes in a plastic shopping bag before placing them back inside the purse. Let's talk tweaks. I'm showing extreme minimalism, but if you want more warmth or modesty in your pajamas, you can add a pair of leggings, shorts, or thin capri PJs. They all fit well into the purse, in which case your underwear wouldn't need to be boy shorts. They could be whatever style you like. One tweak that my husband uses when traveling is to take almost worn out underwear and socks. That way you wear them one last time and throw them away. You could also take one less shirt, pair of underwear and socks if you have access to a washing machine. In a pinch, you can wear a zipped up hoodie as a shirt and your boy shorts while you do your laundry. If you're staying with family or friends, they can lend you something to wear while you do your laundry or to sleep in. I hope you use these hacks to go luggage free one day or find ways to adapt them to get more out of your baggage allowance. If you know how to pack even lighter or have more ultralight packing tips, please share in the comments.